right, so one thing that you should do when you start off is set your target ATOS for your account. So uh, in this case, you're going to go to this page and you have these names. So you just say unnamed product group. Okay. All that means is you don't know what this product is, but you have the ACE in here in your SKU. What it's going to do, it, uh, Samurai Seller will identify and group um, just on our own software. It's not actually going to do anything in Seller Central until later. But we're going to pull together all campaigns that are advertising the same product, and more specifically, the ad group level because you set the ASINs to be advertised at the ad group level. So right here, um, it's gonna be the name. So let's say in this case, it's a ladle. All right, so I'm gonna put here, ladle, okay? And let's say it was a black one, you'd put black. And if it was a, you know, colored one or large or whatever, you can put the information here on what this group of ASINs represents. In this case, it's one, so it's just, you know, black ladle. And you could put material type or whatever else to identify this product, okay? If it had more than one, so maybe it was this and it's all colors, you can say ladle group or ladles or eight inch ladle or whatever it is that you're selling. Um, these group of ASINs will be here. You, and if you named your SKUs, uh, you'll know what they are. If you memorize your ASIN or whatever, you can always look it up on Amazon, um, going to amazon.com slash DP and the ASIN or just search the ASIN on Google or whatever. You'll find this product in your inventory, wherever it is. So <laughs> anyway, so this here, you name it, you want to name it. Okay, so you identify that later. This, of course, is the ASIN or a group of ASINs. Here is your campaigns. Okay, this is all the campaigns that I currently am running on Amazon um, on this test account for uh, this product. So it's just one campaign. But if there's more than one, you see this here, it's running actually four campaigns. Okay, so you have this. But if there's more, there's these four campaigns all have this ASIN and no other ASIN being advertised. That's all that means. Okay. Ad groups is the same thing here. There's, you know, seven ad groups. Okay. So within these four campaigns, there's seven ad groups being advertised. It's saying that a samurai seller has recognized that these eight ad, eight ad groups or these seven ad groups right here. So it's that one showing plus the six are all advertising this one ASIN, no other ASIN. So what you, the first step you should do is you'd name it and say, okay, good. This is my ladle campaigns. And I'll have all of them. This is my, whatever, the tongs campaign. Okay. So you just put tongs in there. Somewhere you go ahead and get this ready. Um, you set your target ACOS. Okay. So we recommend, you know, you start, if your uh, goal is to reduce your ACOS, what you want to do is set it a little bit, uh, like slightly lower than your current ACOS. If your ACOS is really terrible, let's say 100%, 80%, something extremely high, you might want to set your target just to be slightly below that. So, I don't know, 70% if you are at 80, 10% uh, lower. Um, but maybe if you're that high, you might want to set it at 50% because that's like extremely high unless you're really starting to launch or something like that. But generally, after you're, you're going to go down to at least break even. Most people do not want to lose money on ads and at least break even or better. So you take out your margin of your product and you, if you want to break even on ads, you put the margin of your product here. If your margin is 25%, you put in 25%, bada bing, bada boom. And this is going to be used later in the tool. So you want to set that up. You want to set up the name, you want to set up the target ACOS, and then just look at this just to understand these are all the different group of ASINs that you're targeting on your account um, and some people realize oh my my campaign here it says you know um, I don't know um, Turner but I looked and it was actually a spatula now what might happen if that's happening you and seller central probably made a mistake so far every time it's been reported we look and that person's like oh Sorry, it says Turner, but we're, you know, it says it's the same campaign as this other spatula campaign. What's the deal? Well, what happened is you might have an ad group inside of there that's actually advertising a spatula that you did not realize. Okay, so um, these ad groups, all of them, have this ASIN uh, being uh, targeted and nothing else. All right, so hopefully that makes sense to understand this. And then if you have um, 
we're going to set up later, either right here or inside the keyword extractor tool. Um, this thing, which is going to find a place where all of the converting search terms can be moved uh, for every conversion that included just this ASIN. Okay, and I'll go over that in the next video. You can see the horseman campaigns, cavalry campaign can be done right here. Um, you basically going to click that and go into the next step. But that is the overview of this product group configuration page. Um, actually, there's a little more. Here in the global settings, this is your target ACOS for the entire account. And this is your max bid. So like, let's say you just never want to ever go on a max bid, more than $5 ever on an account. And you do have a max bid. <coughs> They'll be set in a different page. <coughs> um, we don't have that here right now. Here, uh, for this keyword extractor tool, there is some settings you can do. So what that's what this is going to help you do is get every time there's a sale, you have the option or you're given the option to press a button and move that over into this campaign you're going to select here or create campaign uh, new set of campaigns. Okay. Some people don't ever want to look at a keyword, even consider it until they have two sales, maybe three sales. You know, beyond that, it's really not recommended. One, two, or three. I mean, if you have some maybe super high volume product that's very cheap and maybe three people bought it and it was just a, a fluke that three people bought it, maybe you'll put it higher. But I've never seen a good reason for that. So you want to have one or two is the most common. Um, if you want to be more conservative and maybe not spend a lot of time sorting through keywords, um, two is, is, a, is okay. I mean, I normally use one because you actually have the option to look at anything anyway. And then this, we'll go over that in another video. For now, just keep this recommended setting. And then here, um, you can just leave this for now. You know, uh, you could select lifetime. Should be selected actually by default. Um, it's just an older account. Uh, this is going to show you what time you want a negative magic keyword. So, or, or it was gonna suggest. Right now, everything in Samurai, it's gonna suggest to you. So. If you've had $10, two clicks, or 100% ACoS, and here it's gonna say it's gonna take at least three days of data collecting rather than, you know, you send the first, if you spend, if you got two clicks the first day, it's not gonna recommend it if you didn't get any sales because you may still get a sale from that on the next day or whatever. So it's gonna elapse three days. If you wanna be super, super aggressive, you bring that down, but we generally recommend to have three or more. If you're an expert, you should understand kind of what that means. The days of delay for you to include the data. That's it that uh, let's see anything else this is going to be for creating tasks um, and then for now that's everything